for joining us right now. First up at 530, we're all used to seeing empty shelves at our local grocery store during the pandemic, but other places are also struggling right now. Yes, yeah, schools actually across the state are trying to keep students fed while dealing with an unpredictable supply. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones found out how schools are adjusting. She is joining us live tonight at Rocky Hill High School. Marcy. Good evening, Aaron and Mark. This is actually a nationwide issue and to kind of put it into context in a recent survey, about 97% of school nutrition workers say that they fear this issue is not going to go away very quickly. And the bad news is there's no solution in sight. When you mix supply chain issues with labor shortages, it can be a recipe for disruption. From not so full grocery store shelves to school cafeterias, everyone is feeling some sort of impact. I used to unload the trucks and we went from trucks that had 1200 to 1500 pieces down to maybe on a good day 700 pieces. Mario Carabia, a grocery store worker, says he doesn't see a solution to shortages right around the corner. It's going to continue. We just got to get truckers on the road. Unfortunately, um, you know, that's not happening right now. President of the School Nutrition Association of Connecticut, Kate Murphy, says lunchrooms across the state are noticing a difference. Paper goods is a huge thing. We can't get straws, lunch trays, little dishes to hold the fruits and vegetables in. We're also seeing shortages on some food items. Adding that students might see a few last minute menu swaps to fill in the gaps. This week, for instance, French toast sticks. I could not get French toast sticks and that's a, a kid favorite for lunch. But we were able to try and find something very close to it. Kate says parents can rest easy knowing no student will ever go hungry. There's always something for the kids to eat. It may not be their first choice, but it will be food for them for lunch and breakfast. When asked what the community could do to help ease the situation, Kate suggests to have a little patience. As long as they're understanding and realize that we are doing our best, that we really want to feed all the children and we will feed all the children, but be understanding if we have to make a, a slight menu change for the day. You can hear that dedication in their, her voice. And you know what? I hope those kids get some French toast sticks soon. But until then, as you heard, Kate and Mario both say a little patience and understanding definitely goes a long way. And the good news is no student will go hungry. Live in Rocky Hill, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.